Hello, my name is Andy Harvey. I'm a professor of optics here in the School of Physics and Astronomy in the University of Glasgow. And I'm the lead on this Master of Science course in Advanced Imaging and Sensing. The course is shared between three world-leading schools, the School of Physics and Astronomy, the School of Engineering, and the School of Computer Science. And that gives you a picture of the cross-disciplinarity of the field. The enthusiasm for cross-disciplinary research in Glasgow is underpinned by this new building I'm sitting in now, the Advanced Research Centre, a recent investment which houses much of the research that we're currently doing in imaging and sensing. Examples of the research that goes on in the ARC are using state-of-the-art quantum optics to do things that can't easily be done by conventional techniques. For example, if we shine light through the head, just using the very small number of photons that come through the other side, we can detect the dynamics of what's going on inside the brain. And this could be useful for detecting the trauma that results from stroke. Other research that, that is of great interest is the ability to use new computational imaging techniques to achieve what cannot be achieved conventionally. So for example, we can make a camera which can record almost 90% of the retina of the eye, but using a very low cost system, just using the sorts of cameras that you use in your mobile phone, but we combine that with computational imaging. And the reason why this is really interesting is this technology becomes very cheap. It's the sort of technology that one day we might see in every GP surgery, but it's particularly important for use in low and middle income countries where affordable healthcare has to be priced in the hundreds of dollars rather than the hundreds of thousands of dollars. So the research that's been conducted here in Glasgow into imaging and sensing systems has real world applications. Other examples are in optical sensing and imaging. We've developed new techniques which enable us to image the distribution of greenhouse gases such as methane and form video images of how those are distributed. So imaging and sensing is incredibly important, both to society and to science. It underpins, for example, discoveries in science, whether it's gravitational waves that recently won a Nobel Prize, or the Higgs boson, also a winner of a Nobel Prize. And these are fields in which Glasgow has played absolutely key pivoting roles. The aim of the course is to provide training in the wider field of imaging and sensing. So in a typical undergraduate degree, you might have learned a little bit about how cameras work or how a lens works we will take you to a much higher level in understanding the fundamental aspects of how imaging systems work. So people who are receiving training in this area are very employable. The sort of companies they're typically going to work for are companies producing imaging systems, for example, for medical devices, ophthalmic imaging. We've had people that develop the cameras that you find in your mobile phones, for example, and that has involved the integration of both the computation, the device physics, and the whole system. This is transforming the way the world employs imaging. So we can just look at what's happened with our mobile phones in the last 10 years. This is just the start. This is going on for a lot longer yet. Mm -hmm.